Here we go! Here we go indeed! Hey everybody and welcome to Super Mario 3D Land on the Nintendo 3DS! What? The Nintendo 3DS? That is right you guys, I am actually recording this on a 3DS capture device and I am super excited because this has been something I really want to do for a very long time and I figured what better way to start recording DS and 3DS games than by playing one of my favorites on the system, am I right? So without further ado, let's just jump right into it, not waste any of your time or mine because I am so eager to get this going. And of course, in the words of good old Mario himself, Display. Welp, looks like Bowser is at it again. But all of that doesn't matter because it's a beautiful day here in the Mushroom Kingdom. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, even though you can't hear the birds. You have this weird looking tanuki tree thing in the middle of nowhere. And more importantly, everything looks seemingly good in the world. But we have this letter here. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, Peach has been kidnapped yet again. Who didn't see this coming? And also, yeah, if you shake the 3DS, it, Bowser moves kind of awkwardly. So, that's fun. And Mario just realized that Peach has been kidnapped like this hasn't happened before or anything. Of course, this happens like every day. He basically gets paid daily to do this. I don't know, man. But here we are in World 1, and Mario desperately has to use the bathroom. So let's go ahead and take him to World 1-1 to relieve himself. Or rather, just... Get started with the adventure. So before we get started, let's get into some controller mechanics really quick. So of course you have the analog stick that you can use to walk. It's kind of nice. Uh, the camera is used by tilting the uh, analog or the D-pad left and right. You can also use the uh, bottom screen as well. Uh, you can hold down Y to run. You can press B to jump, but if you hold it down long enough, you do a higher jump. If you hold down L or R while you're pressing B, you can do a long jump. If you hold down L while holding down or pressing the Y button into the B button, uh, let me see if I can do it. Like that, you can do a nice little rolling jump and it's kind of nice. And of course, you have a traditional ground pump by jumping and pressing L or R. It's pretty darn nice. And uh, power-ups in this game, there are actually quite a few new ones. I'll get into them when we get into them. But the first one is, of course, the raccoon or tanuki leaf. And it's basically the most overpowered thing in the game. Now, uh, you see this star coin here. I guess in this game it's called a star metal. Uh, there's going to be three of those in each level, so we're going to want to make sure we collect them at every chance we get, because that's what we do for 100%, and I would like to go for 100%. Because, I will say, this is definitely one of the easiest Mario games I've ever had the chance to play. And that doesn't mean it's a bad game. In fact, this is one of my favorites on the 3DS. Um... Anytime I want to play a good old chill Mario game, I always come back to this one. Also, you have this room that has a weird 3D effect. You can turn the 3D on with the 3DS, but if you go to this eyeball, you can actually see the 3D better, and boom, you get a star coin out of it. I'm going to basically not use the 3D at all in this game, because the 3D hurts my eyeballs, and I'm sure it hurts a lot of you guys' too, so I'm not really going to be doing it all that much. Um, I will, I guess while we're going through this level, I will go and explain the bottom screen and what that does. I'm not going to really show it here, because the bottom screen isn't really used all that much. But, um, the bottom screen contains your lives, it contains what level you're on, it shows your star coin count, and of course, you can have an extra inventory slot. Which is really nice, because I know we had that in Mario World, and oh boy, Toad failed. That's really unfortunate. But it's pretty darn handy. I might show it off uh, when I'm talking about it, but for the most part, the bottom screen will not be shown off at all, unless I'm getting a star coin, which is kind of nice. And wow, the game is really generous with the raccoon leaves. Look at that, look at that nice little jump, that's so nice. One other thing, at the end of each level, we're going to want to make sure that we hit the top of the flagpole. I know in other Mario games it just gives you a one-up, but in this game it's actually important and it won't seem like it is until we beat the game. But trust me, you're going to want to make sure you hit the top of the flagpole in every stage. But that's not really a huge issue because the raccoon leaf, or tanuki leaf, or whatever you want to call it, there is an actual tanuki leaf in the game, so I guess it's just a regular raccoon leaf. But it is important that you do so, it's kind of important. But while we're going through 1-2 here, um, I will talk about a few things while we're doing this. First off, I do move fast in platformers, so if I die because I'm stupid or something, well, 
you know what, you're just gonna have to let that one slide because, I mean, I try not to die. This game is actually, like I said, it's really freaking easy. So if I do die, it's bec it's basically because of my own negligence and the fact that I like to move fast and show off cool tricks and whatever. Not that I'm the best at this game, but the game's not that hard at all. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is that I'm using a brand new editing software. Um, I was always using Zony Vegas for a very long time, but it wasn't until this project actually that I'm switching over to Adobe Premiere Pro. And it's a bit of a learning curve. It's a, it's definitely been a process trying to learn the software while also learning how to record. Oh, I'm up here now. While also trying to learn how to record DS footage and getting the sound good and everything. So uh, this is basically brand new territory for me. And uh, it's kind of crazy. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, if you go up here and go to the very end, there's going to be a, yeah, an orange pipe right there. That will skip all the way to World 2. And we're not going to be doing that because I'm not going to be skipping any levels because I'm going to be doing every single level that the game has to offer. And uh, let's get to the top of our flagpole and be done with 1-2. Wow, we're only not even seven minutes in and we did two levels. If I'm lucky, we could probably do the first world in this video. Or in that case, we could probably do every world in once per video. That would be kind of insane. Um, as we get further and further into the game, the levels do get longer, or maybe I just forget where star coins are, because, yeah, that will happen. Also, we have a mystery box. Clear the room and get the item before time runs out. You may even find a star coin. Sure. How bad could this be? Oh. Yeah. You see what I mean by game being easy? I will pick up this fire flower because I get to show it off, and I get to have the tanuki suit, or the raccoon leaf in my inventory. And did you get the star medal? I sure did. Mystery boxes you play will be sent with your mead to other players from now on if you're using Street Pass. Nice. Not like I'm going to be leaving my house or anything, because this this device is going to be staying in my home and is never leaving my house. So I will probably never ever use Street Pass in this project or really any other project, because yeah, I just don't want anything happening to this thing because it was a little expensive, not going to lie. So, sometimes if you go into these green binoculars and you see a toad, he's going to make a star coin fly out. And it's uh, it's kind of required to do that, otherwise you'll never see the first star coin and it's a bad time. At least I can get a flower from this. I sure can, because I'm amazing. We'll just go ahead and do some cool jumping maneuvers. And I didn't even get the star coin. Can I get the star coin? Thank you very much, Mr. Game. I appreciate it. And what's in here? Oh, looks like a bunch of coins. Oh, okay. Oh boy. Yep, endless coins. I will say as well that lives in this game are very plentiful. You will never, if, if you ever run out of lives in this game, I don't know what to tell you. Because this game is absolutely easy. So, uh, you'll be getting lives a lot, and hopefully we can beat, like, my personal record, which I think is, like, 280 or something on my main file. It's pretty nice. Uh, so here we are in a cloud stage, or a cloud minigame of sorts. Again, it's nothing. Just run through, and I believe there's a star coin at the end you're going to want to get, because, again, that's what we were meant to do. Do a nice little ground, ground pound for effect. And I believe, yeah, there's a star coin right down there, so I'm going to just, uh... Gently glide down to it, or okay, Mario. Yeah, that could have been Danger Town. Uh, let's just do this. I like I said, the raccoon leaf is so broken. It's actual. I don't know why they made it so like you could basically never die. But that's the thing you can do, and it's kind of cool. And I thought I was gonna miss the flagpole there, but we got it, no problem. Jeez, Mario, calm down. You're getting too excited over being a level. Also, yeah, we've gone through three stages that even talk about the time bonus. So if you get a really good time, you get a lot of coins from it, too. And, of course, that contributes to your lives, and it's nice and everything. And there are some stages in the game where you have to pay star coins to uh, open up a new stage. So uh, we're going to be doing that here. I believe you also need star coins to beat the final stage in the game. Or, I, well, I guess I'll get, yeah, I was gonna say technically that's true, but we'll get into that a little bit later. But since we're going for every star coin anyway, it's not a huge problem. Alright, this level, it's, it's kind of like your traditional auto scroll, or actually non traditional auto scroller, because you're riding on one of these lift things. 
and uh, it's pretty cool. Just don't die. You can also use Mario's flick of the tail with the Y button to kill enemies, just like in Mario 3. This game has a lot of similarities to Mario 3, like the music, the Tanuki or ra Raccoon Leaf, and uh, that's basically it. <laughs> that's basically all the similarities we're going to get. Oh, star coin, nice. First star coin of the level, I will not complain. And, uh, yeah. oh, I thought I was dead. I thought I lost my raccoon leaf. That would have been Danger Town. But we're good. No worries. All right, so let's just uh, keep on riding, keep on floating away, give us a checkpoint. And honestly, this level is not really anything to write home about. Um, levels in this game are generally not that long either. Uh, they, if you want to get a comparison, it's kind of like Mario 3, actually, where the levels are just kind of like short spurts. Uh, but as we get later on in the game, that won't be the case. They will be pretty long. But nothing you can't handle. This game, like I said, is incredibly easy. What's in here? Ooh, more coins? More coins. Oh. I don't want that, because I have a fire flower, and I kind of like a nice little inventory. So I'm just gonna let you sit there and, uh, be a troll while it's going. Oop! Okay. Alright, let's see if I can do this very nicely. So if I go back like this... Uh, oh! 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 I had it. I thought I had it, but I didn't, so... So he's gotta wait for the timing. There we go. Oh! Come on! Come on! There we go! And that will also get our third star coin. Uh! Okay, I thought I was dead. We're still alive. We're good. No worries. No worries to be had. And nice. I could get the clock down there, but I don't think it's really necessary because I have plenty of time on the clock. And... <laughs> Ooh. You know, I was thinking I could jump that, but I'm not risking it because I will probably die. And uh, that would be embarrassing. Maybe I can go a whole no death run. That would be kind of nice. Not sure that'll happen. I'm pretty sure I'm going to die. There's no doubt in my mind. So just uh, just say, just take that as you will. But there will be some interesting gimmicks to getting to the top of the flagpole, like that thing moving towards the flagpole. There will be some other things. But I will say, if you're not Raccoon Mario, it is actually really difficult to get the, well, I wouldn't say difficult. It's a little challenging to get to the top of the flagpole because sometimes you're gonna have to utilize the rolling jump thing, and uh, it's it's kind of weird. But once you get the hang of it, again, it's not too bad. And wow, we're almost done with World One. That's insane. Uh, but we have a present, so let's go inside and see what it is. What is it? What is it? Ooh, a fire flower. Pass. I sorry, Toad. It's not that I don't like your present. But it is actually that I don't like your present because I already have one. So, sorry, Toad. It's okay. I know you're a little upset about it. But, uh, it's fine. Alrighty, the last level of the episode happens to be the last level of this world. World 1 Castle. Again, we're moving through this game pretty quick. So I'm going to need to slow down a bit or else it's going to end in like 10 episodes or something. I don't know. Alrighty. So, uh, oh, nice jump. Oh, yep. Yep, that just happened. I just lost my power up. Just like, ooh, there's a star coin right there. There we go. Well, now I gotta play through regular Mario. I could use my Fire Flower, but I'm gonna save it in reserve just in case. But uh, I don't have to actually because the game's generous. Gives me another Raccoon Leaf. I believe as we also get later into the game, Raccoon Leaves. No, that's also not true. I was gonna say they're not that common like they are in the beginning, but. Eh, sometimes you just want the extra shirts. Because raccoon leaves are really broken, as I keep mentioning. And here's our st second star coin. And our third star coin happens to be right here. Really easy stuff. Uh, there's also, I think, an extra life right here. Yeah, sure enough. Uh, what is this showing me right now? Uh, it's showing me the goal, is it? Yep, there it is. It exists. Just in case you didn't know where it was. Well, now you know. You're welcome. I'm glad I showed you. Let's just do a nice little rolly jump because we're fashion or fashion or edgy. Not that's not the right thing. But more importantly, we have a Bowser up our hands uh, right in front of us. Oh boy, whatever will we do? I don't know because I'm scared. He's a big boy. He is. Oh. Dude, can I please do the jump? No, I cannot. I cannot do the jump because I'm just terrible. There we go. 
You know what? I will take that. I will take the damage. And there we go. See ya, Bowser. Hope you have a nice time in the fiery pits of death. But wait! It wasn't actually Bowser at all! It was a Goomba! Welp, there you have it. Now I get to show you guys how to get to the actual top of the flagpole using a good old rolling jump. If for some reason they want to give you an extra timer because you didn't have enough time to get up here. I don't know. But anyways, let's go ahead and prepare ourselves. Ooh, that was not the preparation I needed, game. I don't know why I did that. That could have been Danger Town. Don't fail this now. It's in your hand. The ball's in your court. There we go. That is what I'm talking about. And there we go. That is the end of World 1. Eh, I didn't get the extra life, but you know what? It's fine. Nothing to worry about. But, I think that's going to be it for this episode, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, next time on Super Mario 3D Land, we're going to enter World 2. And if you've played any other Mario game before, you can kind of guess what the theme is going to be. It's pretty common at this point. On that note, thank you guys so very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time for some more Mario 3D Land. I will see you guys then.